Hello and welcome back to Space Simulation Toolkit. I gotta say it fast because you Gen Alpha Chads don't don't have much attention span and then you click off of the video because nothing happened. But we have a tank today. A tank, that's right, a tank. And we are going to test the tank against a variety of projectiles. Yes, this was in the Steam Workshop. Very exciting. I can take the projectile and I can projectile it. So I probably want it to go in like the direction it's designed to go and here we go, here we go. Boop, boop, boom. All right, let's see what happens with a little projectile. Oh, wow, it actually, it got deflected. It damaged the barrel of the tank a little bit. I don't know why the tank is made of literal rock, but you know, you know, sometimes there's budget cuts. I heard Russia's having some uh, economic issues recently with their uh, war efforts. So maybe this is just a Russian tank. I think it's actually a T-72, so it is a Russian tank. Oh my God, the metal one. Oh, 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 oh man, if I was in this seat, I would, oh, you know what? Why am I not in this seat? Come on. I'm the type of guy to sit in a tank. All right, I'll be made out of sand. I, I am I am the sand man. Am I gonna fall apart? Yeah, I, I literally will not exist as like a cohesive human being, which is kind of the, the case. Like I am not a cohesive human being, but let's make me out of dirt instead. Kind of reflects my my value more. There we go. Eee. Yay! It's it's Spike Viper, but dirt. Yeah, do we do we want to make me look a little bit creepier? Yeah, let's make me look a little, a little bit creepier. Yay! Oh god, the dirt in the water is making plants inside of my face. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this to happen. Okay, whatever. It's just, I'm happy. I, I got plants in my face. Okay, next next up, we're gonna go to very large projectile, actually. Um, there's already been some damage, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try to patch this up, you know. I'm a professional tank repair guy. We'll even like put a little bit of additional additional padding. Gonna pull out my welding gun and just weld some random random iron beams to the front of my tank. I'm sure that won't get in the way of anything. Um, I don't have any of my reactive my reactive actually I wonder if you could use like gas in this to make reactive armor that like explodes and pushes the projectile away. That would be kinda cool. Um that's a good thing to test in the future. Okay, so let's go to our very large... Over here we have actual, like, explosive shells, but we're not ready for that kind of commitment yet. Alright, three, two, one, go. Okay, that wasn't a good throw. There we go, that's a good throw. Alright, see what happens. Okay, immediately penetrates. 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 You can kind of see that it's getting stuck by its... Oh, no, no, no! Little did they know, Spike Viper actually uh, called his insurance agency before this entire thing, and they had him install, believe it or not, a wall. A wall in front of his face. Oh, God, no! It didn't actually work because it was paused. My head just got ripped in half. Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, I'm gone. L little, little did they know, Spike Viper wasn't actually that guy. He was hiding up here. He, he was hiding up here doing doing pull-ups because he is a Chad who does pull-ups 24-7. Yep, he was doing pull-ups off of the cannon. Still still getting minor uh, burns from all of the debris flying around, but it's okay. It's fine. Not dead. Not dead. Certifiably not dead. Unlike my pilot who... Ooh, too bad. Too bad for him. Um... You know what, just just for the sake of, uh, we keep getting hit in the same spot, so we're going to ask our incredible government to improve our uh, tank by putting some metal into it. I know, crazy, crazy idea that you would put metal into a tank, and I'm actually going to put some a metal layer through it to try to uh, reduce the likelihood of death and dismemberment. Look at that. Yay, less death and dismemberment. Let's go. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab another tank shell. This one is just stone, so I think we'll be fine. It's a little bit larger though, so maybe I should be worried. Uh, oh no, it literally just bounces off. Okay, that was not that was nothing. We, 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 we eat shells like that for dinner. 
I think pasta shells. Now we have like a stone shell with a smaller metal shell inside, which is probably designed to inject that smaller shell. And it, it kind of were, oh my God. Wow, just a tiny bit of metal shell inside made a huge difference. It actually penetrated all the way in. And now once again, I have burning hot pieces of debris hitting me in the head. This is so unfortunate. It's okay though. It's okay, my research and development team tells me by adding additional metal onto the tank. We can decrease the uh, damage to my skull. My head is literally just like melting off. It's, it's really unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This one has dirt. Th th this shell literally is full of dirt. I do not have high expectations for the dirt shell. Wow. Yeah, the dirt shell, uh, although my my metal improvements here are rather awful. They're like completely discombobulated, probably because the sea distance is like really bad on it. I don't, I don't know why. Let me see if I can fix this. It's just like the metal isn't merged together. It's just a bunch of individual particles, which do not build a very cohesive structure. My, my goal, my goal is to not die, believe it or not. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're just, we're just going to rebuild the entire front of the tank by hand. We, we got that R&D money. The United States military just, just sent us a briefcase full of money. Hopefully the Doge, the Department of Government Efficiency, doesn't learn about this because they're not going to be happy about the $8 billion I just spent to uh, improve one tank. TBH, TBH, probably uh, better returns than half of the things the Pentagon spends money on. There we go. A few cracks in the armor already, but uh, we're going to repair it. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's okay. Why, why, why is it just breaking? This is the most brittle metal I think I've ever dealt with. What? What? Come, come on. I think it's because I turned the sea distance. Wow, yeah, it is literally just like breaking. I'm very confused by this. Let's try this again. Um, Spike Vapor cannot tank. Tank you, joke number three. It's definitely more than number three. Nobody was keeping count though. Now someone is going to go through the video and count how many times I said thank you. Oh my god, what is actually happening here? What? <laughs> okay, um clearly clearly the metal has some issues that it's it's not it's not ready to talk to us about. So we'll just encase the metal in uh in stone. Yep, this is why the R&D budget keeps growing because we literally don't know how to build tanks. We, we have not figured it out, guys. We have not figured out how to build tanks. So cooked. We are so cooked. Tim cooked. There we go. There we go. By sandwiching it between two layers of stone, we've actually managed. And then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put like little little defensive balls on the outside. That just just go with it. Just go with it. And I'm going to fill them with, with water to try to decrease the energy of the incoming shell. Ah, this is exactly what the Soviets needed. This is why the Soviets fell. They didn't have the water-filled reactive capsules. It's not even reactive. You know what? Let's make it reactive. I've got... I've got no, no, no. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. We're totally going to survive. This is going to be fine. Nobody's going to die. Even though these shells are actually kind of like designed now to be deadly. I mean, they were all probably designed to be deadly. But these, these are... Is that plant or is it like explosives? I can't really tell. Is it just plant? Oh! Yo, okay, that was explosives. Holy moly, that did a lot of damage. Thankfully, none of the explosives inside of the tank have been set off yet. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, let's see what this one does. All right, three, two, one. Oh, it penetrated all the way through. 
Oh, more stuff flinging around. Really slightly concerned about what's going on here. We, we do have these explosives, which are just kind of get knocked around. But none of them actually got set off. I mean, I do not look good. I have little, like, pieces of metal sticking out of every part of my body. My brain is kind of mush, too. But my brain was already mush, so what is the difference, may I ask? I mean, definitely, definitely got him. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what happens if we get the absolute most insane destructive force of all time. I call it the ball. We're gonna get a ball, and then we're going to fill it with, uh, not, not fire, plastic, white, rotor, acrylic glass, lava, stone, I could have sworn there was oil. Ice, vapor, oil! There we go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the oil bomb 3000 here. Oil bomb 3000 and we're just gonna chuck it. And yes, we're not even going to repair. Oh my God, look how quick it's going this time. This is actually gonna do quite a bit of damage. Oh, geez, it went straight through the chair, the, the, the defensive chair. Oh no. Oh no, the explosives got set off. Oh, the back of the tank just got ripped out. I am I am not looking good. I'm not looking great. Here, I'll make myself wave a little bit. Yay. Yeah, oh god, I ripped off my hand. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, I, I think we learned a lot today. Um, let's go ahead and reload this just one time because I want to do one thing. I, I want to do one test. A single test. All right, T72. I want to see what happens if I get a T72. Ready for this? We're going to see what happens. No! <laughs> oh, I tried so hard. Okay, I, I, I crashed it. Terrible. Okay, let's try this again. Try this again. I'll give it a take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Give me a take two, damn it. It's okay. Tank, tank two. Okay, here we go. I, I am, I am mentally prepared for this. Okay, come on, come on, baby, come on. Let me select the whole tank. Let me control C, and let me control V. Yes! Oh wait, it, it literally immediately exploded. Um, that that was that was almost good. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, control V. Okay. Okay, and now we unselect everything. It, it would appear that this is just very angry. Um, yeah, it just immediately explodes. That's unfortunate. I wanted to put a tank on top of a tank. You know, it's, it's still functional enough, okay? All we have to do is go into the controls, uh, get the temperature tool, and just... Lower the temperature a little bit. There we go. Okay, basically a tank. Basically. It kind of is dead a little bit. But we're just going to take the entire tank. And we're going to drop it on the tank. There we go. There we go. This is the content you come here for. I'm going to throw a tank into a tank. Oh! Wow, okay. Uh, literally vaporized the whole thing. It's just gone. Wait a second. Why haven't we been doing this? We could have... We could... We, we could have we been throwing tanks at enemy tanks the whole time. Why has nobody thought of this? Guys. 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 Why have we not thought of this? Look, look at the beauty. Look, look at what's left. Nothing. Why have generals not come up with this brilliant tactic? Please let me know in the comments down below why nobody has tried this before. Um, this is going to be the new Vuperian army go-to strategy. We're going to chuck empty, empty tanks at the other tanks at full speed. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, you should also consider 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 joining Valor. Valor.gg. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, there's a banner and everything. Okay, well, that is everything for today. So I hope you guys enjoy your time and uh, goodbye. Goodbye. We'll be back. We'll be back with more content. Did I, did I get you to watch to the 15 minute mark? There we go, okay. That means the sponsors are gonna kick in next time. Not like the channel's been dead for months.